Hello there, my name's Scott. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Inokin iTaste MVP, which I received from www.vapor-room.com. Before I start, I must point out I did receive it free of charge for purpose of conducting a review. My opinion for that main true on this necro, as always. Okay, let's go straight ahead and show you what's in the case. Okay, so the MVP comes in a, uh, a clear sort of plastic case. And, well, I'm not too sure if it's even worth me taking off the lid, but if you take off the lid inside, you're going to find the MVP sitting on top. At the side, you have this little plastic tab, and if you lift that up, underneath you're also going to find a little information card, two clear reminders, a plinth, and a USB charging cable slash multi-adapter. And this is because you can also uh, use the MVP to charge external devices such as your mobile phone. Okay, so a couple of things that I was really quite surprised about when I first got the MVP. One was its size, and secondly, the actual sort of a build of it. Now, going by the uh, pictures I'd seen on the internet, I just assumed that it was you know, a very large box mod, probably about like the size of a brick. And uh, also, I just had a feeling it was made out of um, like a plastic. But uh, size-wise, it's, it's actually really quite petite, really. If I hold up a clear miser next to it, it might give you a, a slightly better idea of uh, you know, just how sort of small it is. And uh, you know, build-wise, you know, it's very solid. I'm not too sure what metal it's made out of, but it is a, you know, a metal construction. Like I said, you know, just a very, very solid device. On top, it uses a 510 atomizer connection, so that means you can use it with any atomizer or cartomizer that also has a 510 thread in. And just around the base there, you can see some additional threads, and this is so you can screw on a plinth. Now, the idea of the plinth is, say for example, you're using a cartomizer tank or a Vivinova, you can use the plinth and it just sort of uh, hides a lot of the connection, just makes it look a little bit nicer. On the side, you're gonna find your main sort of uh, button or your switch, and this is what you're going to press and hold down to obviously activate the atomizer. It does have the free click on, free click off feature. So if you want to carry it around in your pocket, but you're worried about accidental activation, you can just tap the button quickly three times to turn it off. And obviously then it won't fire. And then if you uh, want to have a vape, you can just tap it quickly again three times. Now it'll turn it back on and then it'll obviously uh, start activating again. As you can see, a LED will light up when you press the button. This is going to give you your sort of indication of how much battery life you have left. Obviously green means full, yellow means sort of midway, and red means you uh, need to get to a charger a bit sharpish. Inside you're gonna find a 2600 milliamp hour proprietary battery. So you can't take the battery out to uh, ever replace it, but you know, these are gonna last you a long time anyway. You may be wondering, well, what do you do when the battery, uh, you know, obviously is dead, and you need to charge it up, where well, you're gonna vape, where well, you can actually charge it and vape at the same time. On the side, you're going to find a very nice mirror finish display. And this is a really nice bright display and it makes it very nice and uh, clear to actually see what you're trying to do. And uh, obviously the V uh, MVP is a variable voltage device and this allows you to uh, make adjustments from 3.3 volts up to 5 volts. And I will uh, go into that in a bit more detail in a second. On the base, you're going to find a USB output and a USB input and a little on off switch. Now the input is so you can actually charge the internal battery of the MVP, and the output is so you can uh, use the MVP to charge up uh, a mobile phone, for example. So if you're ever in a pinch, your batteries have run out, you need to also give, uh, give your mum a call, let her know you're gonna be late home for dinner, you can use the MVP to uh, give your mobile phone a bit of a boost. Okay, like I said, the MVP is a variable voltage device and it has a range of 3.3 volts up to 5 volts. On the side, you're going to find a very simple plus and minus key, and this is to increase or decrease the voltage. Now, unfortunately, when you do press the button, you get this rather annoying uh, puff can to appear first. So you have to wait for that to go away, and then you're into the actual voltage settings. So wait for that to go, and then from there, you can press the plus key to increase the voltage, or the negative key to decrease the voltage. And then once you're at the uh, voltage you want it set to, just take your finger off and that's it, it's now uh, set. And it will remember the voltage setting when you turn the MVP off, and obviously when you turn it back on again, it will still be on wherever you left it as. 
Okay, so the kit comes with two of these iClear XL dual coil clear risers. Obviously, I've got one here which I've been uh, using since I've uh, had the MVP, and I've saved this one uh, specifically for the review. So, for the benefit of any beginners who happen to be watching, to fill them up, all you've got to do is remove the mouthpiece, hold it at a bit of an angle, and then uh, fill it up with juice. And uh, just fill it up until you get to around that 1.6 milliliter mark. And uh, that's it, really. Which is that there? That'll do. And then uh, just screw that back in. That's it, you're all good to go. So, a uh, very nice and simple uh, fill up. Okay, so that was the MVP. Let's go ahead and see what it makes like. Okay, so that was the MVP, and what I did now is go ahead and show in action. So uh, obviously the kit comes with two of those XL dual coil eye clear clear remisers. I've been using one of them sort of on and off over the last sort of four or five weeks, like the uh, length of time I've had the MVP. But I've been uh, specifically saving this one uh, for the review, so obviously you know you guys can see a, a fresh one in action. And uh, this has been filled up with some 18 milligram strength tobacco flavored e liquid, just a, a PG e liquid. And uh, I'm going to start off on the lowest setting of 3.3 volts. And you said, like, even on the uh, the lowest setting, it's still producing a really nice amount of vapour. Flavour-wise, uh, it's pretty good. It's not up there with something like uh, some of my sort of favourite Genesis-style atomizers, but then I wouldn't expect it to be up there, you know, in terms of the uh, the actual amount of flavour you're going to get out of it. But as sort of regular sort of atomizers or clearizers or cartomizers go, you know, it's, it's actually pretty good for flavour. Throw hit wise, now I am getting a really nice a strong throw hit actually. Uh, I personally like to do like a mouth inhale and that's where you take the vapour into your mouth and then breathe it down into your lungs and it gives you a sort of nice uh, thump in the back of my throat and uh, it's certainly uh, you know doing the job there. Now um, for the benefit of those people who are watching, they've never no, heard of electronic cigarettes, that's what one is, or variable voltage. I'll try and give you a very quick uh, demonstration and uh, not, yeah, do a demonstration and try and explain this word, um, like the advantages of it, I suppose. Now, with variable voltage, basically, the more voltage you add, like to or that gets pushed through to the, uh, the atomizer, the hotter the atomizer is going to get, the hotter the atomizer gets, and, like, the more vapor it's going to produce. However, there is a bit of a trade-off because if you start pumping too many volts through it, then it does start to uh, suffer on the old flavour front. It will start reducing it and start getting a bit of a burnt taste. So it really is a case of you know getting one of them, playing around with the voltages and finding your own sort of personal sweet spot. Because different e-liquids you know, work better at certain voltages, different resistance atomizers or cartomizers work better at certain voltages as well. So you know, whatever you're vaping on, it just gives you that sort of you know, spend a minute or two playing around with the voltages finding what suits your taste buds personally, because obviously it also affects the actual heat of the vapour as well. And once you've found like, your own sort of personal sweet spot, that's it, you know, you ain't got to do nothing apart from have a nice vape, basically. So at the moment, this is on its 3.3 volts setting, so I'll just sort of uh, show you the vapour that you're getting out of 3.3 volts. I'll blow it out a little bit slowly to try and highlight it a bit more. And what I'm doing now is I'll just bump it up to the uh, 5 volts. Now these things aren't exactly, uh, these clear misers aren't really the best thing for sort of vaping at the higher voltages. Personally, if I was going to vape at the higher voltages, I'd get myself like a nice sort of uh, bow car to my left 3 ohm. Wait right up to 5 volts, you've got a cracking vape. So this is the, uh, the clear miser at 5 volts. As you can see there, you, know, you are getting a, uh, you know, a more sort of thicker, denser vapour. And uh, this is probably too high a voltage for this uh, particular clearing. I can probably have about another sort of three or four drags, and then I'm going to start sort of 
noticing the uh, the flavour start to wane a little bit. So I'm just going to reduce this back down to what I have been using, which is around four volts, and that just gives me a, a nice little combination of heat, uh, vapour, flavour, throw heat, etc., etc. So this is at uh, four volts now. And it's a really nice vape at four volts. Uh, get on to the, uh, the battery life. Obviously, it does have its own sort of proprietary um, 2600 milliamp hour battery. So that means if the battery ever goes kaput on you, then you, you have to basically get a whole new unit. I'm not too sure if they do a repair service. I can't really imagine that happening. But, you know, I'd imagine the batteries, you know, if you use this as your main device, you know, every single day, I would have thought you're still going to get a minimum of a, of a full year out of it, probably a lot longer than that. I would have thought an absolute bare minimum. You know, so if you think about it in terms of, you know, cigarettes, how much you smoke, you know, per week in cost compared to like one of these per year in cost, it still works out pretty cheap, really. Um, but battery life on it is actually really good. I mean, it's a big old battery in there, 2,600 milliamp hours, and a fully charged battery has lasted me, you know, a day and a half quite easily. Obviously, that's bearing in mind or, or based on how much I vape personally. If you're a, uh, a fairly light vapor, you probably get you know, a good couple of work. <laughs> put my teeth in, a good a couple of days worth of vaping out of it. But obviously, if you're a extremely heavy vapor, then uh, I would have thought even a, a proper chain vapor is going to get almost a full day out of it. Uh, that's, uh, you know, battery life really is uh, very good. The, uh, the switch on it, you know, it works perfectly fine, completely flat to the body. So even if you haven't got it in your pocket without it being turned off, you know, there is that possibility of it still being accidentally activated if it presses against something. But it's going to you know, take quite a bit of pressure there. But you now you have got that on off feature as well. So if you are going to carry it around your pocket, you know, just give it three taps and that's, that's it, it's turned off. And you've got no worries whatsoever. Um, with regards to the accuracy of the actual voltage as well, uh, bearing in mind I've not uh, got the most sophisticated of testing equipment. The actual uh, sort of uh, under under load voltage test that I've got was pretty much falling apart when I even got it, so I'd take the readings with a little pinch of salt. But it does seem to be some sort of uh, amp limiting going on. And I couldn't find that information anywhere on the uh, Vapor Room site or on the actual Inokin website. I couldn't find out what the amp limit was, but... Uh, the lower the resistance atomizer or cartomizer you put on it, then the less accurate it becomes when you start going up to the higher voltages. With a, a two point, with a two ohm cartomizer that I had, no, 2.2, .2, it's either two or 2.2, I couldn't remember, but if I put it onto five volts, it's actually giving me 4.6 uh, on the output voltage. Now, I'm pretty certain uh, P. Bizardo's done a review on the MVP, and he would have had his, his scopes out and everything, and um, so if you want to see what the actual... Um, you know, sort of power details and charts and that, uh, or how accurate it actually is, and you know, go and check out his review, because I'm sure he would have covered that side of things. So uh, if you set it at five volts, you may not necessarily be getting five volts output, uh, but it's, it's not too far off. And like I said, it will depend on what sort of resistance atomizer you've got on there. I'm sure if you've got like a three ohm bow cartomizer on there, and you put it at five volts, it's gonna be pretty much bang on five volts. But if you put on a, a one ohm uh, Genesis atomizer on there, put it on five volts, not that you would do anyway really, then the chances are you probably ain't gonna get about sort of 4.2 volts out of it, something like that. So you see, it's not too bad, depending on what sort of resistance atomizer you've actually got on the end of it. So, uh, you know, to summarize, um, I was really surprised when I first got this, because like I said, in the close-up shots, I was expecting quite a big sort of chunky box made out of plastic and um, you know it really is a very solid device and if you're a builder you know you could quite happily take one of these to work with you and not worry at all about it getting sort of smashed about because it's, uh, it's it's not the size of a brick but it's built as solid as one it really is a very solid uh, construction and made out of metal as well rather than the, uh, the plastic which I thought it was going to be so just actually a little size of it as well and I've got bear in mind I've got quite big big hands but you know it does fit into my hand quite nicely and uh, you know, so I was quite surprised at the uh, at the size of it and the uh, and the actual sort of build quality really. Um, I'm not a major lover of sort of box shaped devices, but as box shaped devices go, you know it's one of the definitely one of the a lot of the nicer ones. Uh, I'll get on to the old scores in for the looks. You know, it's it's a box, you know, and it's it's 
it's quite a nice looking box, I suppose. I'll give the looks, uh, I'll give the looks as a seven out of 10. For the uh, vapor production and the throw here, I'm not gonna bother scoring those because it's gonna be quite dependent on what atomizer or cartomizer you put on the end of it, what sort of e-liquid you're using, what sort of voltage you've got it set to, etc., etc. Uh, for the battery life, it's gotta be a 10 out of 10. If I can make a battery last me a full day, that's great. If I can make it last me over a day, that's excellent. So that'll be a 10 out of 10. And uh, the switch, you know, I've not had any problems with it whatsoever. It fires up every single time. You've got a main on-off feature as well. No, if I've got nothing bad to say about it, it's got to be a 10 out of 10. Okay, then, guys, well, you know, thank you very much for watching. If you do fancy trying one of these out for yourself, go along to www.vapor-room.com. Type in this code at checkout, and they give you a 15% discount every time you purchase from them. Thank you very much for watching, and also come along and visit my website at www.esigreviews.com. That's e sig reviewscom Cheers, guys. Happy vaping. See you later.